Today we're going to give a demonstration of our scissors, how they perform after resharpening. We got some of the uh, toughest materials that the fabric places say that they deal with. And they seem to have done a pretty good job. Here we have 1 8 foam sheeting, and it's fairly tough. And we cut it like it's no problem. Now I don't recommend this in general usage because it's rough on scissors, but we can double it and cut it pretty much as easy. It depends on the load, but you can mess up the bow on your scissors doing things like that. Okay. Now we'll move on to some burlap, and um, once again, you know, one one layer is no problem. We're going to we're going to make four layers, and just show you that we can cut that with no problem. Okay, and that ends up being about an eighth inch thick when you cut it, and we can just cut it right off. Right. Now this is uh, like a fake animal skin. It's uh, pretty nasty to cut. The people that I got it from had a really hard time cutting it. It does shed like a dog. But uh, we'll get another pair of scissors here. And let's, see, let's just find a place here. Clip it off. No problem. We can, we can cut the hair on it and make it look nice. These are hair quality scissors. Everything we do. So, and we also will get... Uh, cut some hair and blow the picture up so you can see that it is a clean cut provides no fuzzy ends now the last one we have here as far as cloth is rough this is a fake silk basically it's the thickness of a human hair and uh, it loves to fold it into the scissors and not cut uh, it frays bad we just hold it here in its free state it cuts right away. Now we do sharpen pink and shears, which needed on this material, and they always cut great, no problems. Now we're going to do something a little oddball here, which you wouldn't think could be done, but we have a tomato here, and if you think about it, cutting a tomato with scissors is generally a bad idea, but we can cut it just like it's nothing. It's not damaged. That that sharp. Now, I appreciate your time, and if you uh, get a chance, look us up on Facebook under Industrial Sharpness Solutions, and be looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you.